Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be all the things I've kind of been loving in the past six months or so. I am terrible with favourites videos. I don't try enough new things. And then when I do, I forget about them. But I have pulled together some of my favourite things that I've been loving recently. And I'm going to talk about a couple of TV shows that I have loved. And I think that's about it. So I am just going to jump in and get started. So I've got two skincare products that I'll start out with. They're both moisturizers. One I use for the daytime, one I use at night. So this moisturizer is called the Cinch Face Cheat or Cheater Cream Moisture and Glow. Um, so this is the actual moisturizer. I feel like my under eyes are super bright. But yeah, as I was saying, this comes in a spray as well, which I love for when I'm just in a rush. I just need to hurry up and get ready, which is not very often at the moment. You can just spray it quickly over your face, but I love this one because it's just that little bit more nourishing. It's a fairly thick cream, but it does give you a luminous glow to your skin. I just, I've been loving this for my daily moisturizer and you can get it from Priceline so I'm assuming it's going to be fairly affordable. And then the one I use at night time is the Dr. Jart Seeker Pear Derma Green Solution Cream. This is what the packaging looks like. Mine is kind of falling apart. It's like foil packaging but all the white and the green is kind of chipping away from where I'm trying to squeeze all the product down. So I started using this when my skin started getting really, really dry and just irritated. I get very, very dry skin all around my nose. I get like really, it's just gross. No one likes dry skin. This, I feel like it doesn't really clog my pores, but it's a thick moisturizer. Like if you have dry skin, this is a godsend. It is so thick, so nourishing, it sinks in and you just feel like plumped and really moisturized. So I have been loving this, it just keeps my dermatitis at bay. It does say rest and repair solution for sensitized skin. Enriched green texture brings the skin relief. Centella Aceta. Acetica ingredients complex. I have no idea if I said any of that right. So yeah, if you guys do suffer with dermatitis or like really dry skin, just gets irritated and no matter what you put on it, it just feels like it's not sinking in. It sits on top of your skin or it just like absorbs it and then it's dry again. Try this. It's expensive, but I swear by it. I will be buying another one soon because this one is getting getting pretty low. I will move on to makeup now. So there's a few different things I've been loving that I have been loving for a long time and then there's a few newbies. So the newest products are these MAC strobing products basically. So this one is the strobe cream which MAC has had a strobe cream for a very long time but they have released ones with a like pigment to them so this one is called pink light when i first received this i was kind of like because mac did send me this uh, so i didn't pick what color it was i normally gravitate towards like more golden tones i was kind of like oh i'm not gonna like this it's gonna be bright pink it's gonna just accentuate the redness in my face but it does not at all it barely even looks pink. It's more like a golden pinky glow, if that makes any sense. It's very hard to explain, but I've been using it so much as my primer. I love it. It's moisturizing. Makeup just goes over so nicely on top. So yeah, this gets a huge thumbs up from me. I have been loving this product. And then their other product I've been loving is the Fix Plus in Pink Light. So same thing, you can see like some of the pigments kind of stuck down the bottom, um, but there is a little ball in there. So once you shake it up, it does mix all together and it's just, it's the most beautiful, I can't explain it. It's, it's really not bright pink. It's a very light pink, but it also has gold tones to it. So I will use this before my makeup, after my makeup. 
I will use it to wet brushes. It's the same as Fix Plus, you can use it like for anything, but it just has that luminous glowy pigment to it just to give your skin like a little bit more of a glow which who does not want to glow I know I do I wanted to mention this foundation um, I mean there's a million other foundations that I've been using and I love as well but I really wanted to mention this one because it is winter my skin is dry and this one is a drugstore foundation so it's the Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour breathable foundation I have two shades I have 100 and 200 this one's in 200 which is the more like tanner shade yeah it says it's a medium coverage foundation which I would agree with but you can build it up to full coverage the way it is packaged is in a humongo doe foot applicator which I mean I don't really mind it's it doesn't apply a lot at once so it's not like just pumping it onto your face and if you do have you know acne or pimples or anything that's like open there's bacteria it's not very sanitary so you'd have to put it on your hand then apply it to your face but apart from that I love this foundation makes my skin look so dewy glowy all of the things I want and I can build it up to full coverage which is what I tend to go for mostly anyway so yeah just wanted to mention this one because it is drugstore it's so cheap and it is so good next up is a palette from Smashbox I bought this maybe a month or so ago off the Mecca website this is how it looks inside so you get a highlighty shade you get a cool tone contour warm tone like bronzer contour because it is matte you could use it either way you get a blush I don't know if it's meant to be a blush yes it is meant to be a blush so it's a matte blush it's like a very dusty deep ro rosy kind of color but it does look so beautiful when it's on the cheeks like when I first looked at it I thought it would not look that good but it does and then you get the two highlights in the middle this one's obviously very like way too dark for me so I don't use it um, but I do like this one I really really like this one but all the shades they're just creamy they're buttery they're everything you want in a contour palette they don't make your skin look really dry and they're so pigmented as soon as I went to apply the contour shades I was kind of like whoa I don't need this much product slow yourself and it's so compact as well like perfect for travel another tiny palette that's perfect for travel that I have traveled with quite a lot is my dream street palette from Colourpop and Kathleen lights I love this palette I actually used this on my friend in a tutorial a few videos back if you want to go back and have a look we use more of the copper shades and like the browns and you know neutrals and they're just they're amazing the shimmers are like the most foiled shadows Ever. they're so foiled the mattes are creamy and pigmented and buttery all the things you want the only two colors missing that I would personally put in are a matte black and a matte light bony shade for a brow bone highlight that isn't shimmery this one here is beautiful if you do want a shimmery brow bone highlight but yeah I just like to have a shadow to set down my entire lids but it's no biggie, I just use a face powder anyway. Next product is from Benefit. It's the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I have it on my eyes today. I don't have any falsies on because I just could not be effed. I'm not going to get too real in this video because oh, we know I cry and everything just gets too emotional. But I had a good day yesterday, so anyone with fibro or a chronic illness knows when you have a good day where you feel good, you get so much done. Because you don't know when you're going to feel that good again. <sighs> and now today I'm paying for it. I'm in pain. Can't be bothered. I'm surprised I'm even like sitting down to film this video. If you guys want like regular updates on how I'm going, like tell me. I'm more than happy to share my life with you. People ask why I can tell strangers on the internet what's wrong with me, why I am the way I am, all these 
things that are going on in my life but why I can't tell the people closest to me like my family like and people I should be able to tell and it's just because that my fam like people don't understand unless they're going through it or they've gone through it so when I speak about it on my channel people find me who have the same types of things we can talk we can relate to each other we don't feel alone so that's just my little disclaimer that's kind of why I always ramble on about myself and what the fuck's going on with my health back to the mascara have it on today no false lashes they probably look like shit cause I just don't have the best lashes they're very very straight because I have such hooded eyes when my eyes are open my my hoods of my eyes are always pushing down on my lashes so you know what are you gonna do but I adore this mascara the very first time I tried it I hated it I was like I really don't like this I don't know what the hype is I don't like it at all but after giving it a few goes because my friend Hannah who is Hannah Schroeder on YouTube little shout out to my girl she was like this is my new favorite mascara I love it so I kept trying it and now I cannot live without it it's been my go-to for months I actually try not to use too much because I don't want to run out I just feel like it gives my eyelashes so much length as well as volume the only thing is sometimes it does kind of crumble and I have to wipe away the dark pieces that have crumbled that's only if I put way too much on, like I like pack it on, so I don't really have that problem if I don't go overboard with it. And then another kind of like eye product I wanted to mention is very random, but it's a lash glue. It's the Huda Beauty lash glue, actually. I had this in my collection for a little while and I just hadn't tried it. And then my favorite Tarte one kind of dried up, so I was like, oh, I'll try this one. It is a dark lash glue, which I prefer. It makes everything blend nicer into the lash line. Gives you that nice dark line that you want. It says it's fast drying and waterproof, which I would pretty much agree. There's nothing worse than when you are literally holding your false lashes in your tweezers, just blowing on them, waiting for them to be tacky enough to stick on your eye. This one, it literally takes like 30 seconds, if that and you can plonk it on and it, you're done and it isn't like other lash glues like when I have a shower it doesn't get stuck in my lashes for days and days and days I can actually pull the clumps of it out so and it doesn't pull my eyelashes out so yeah I just wanted to mention this because I have been loving it and I never talk about lash glue or what lash glues I use so this is the one I've been loving alright so the last products are hair products my roots need doing but let's ignore that a lot of you guys have noticed in my Instagram photos that my hair has been looking like really icy and I even had an old lady it was the sweetest thing yesterday I was at the grocery store uh, there was two little old ladies neither of them could reach this bottle of olive oil it was right up the back I was like not that much taller than them but I went over and tried anyway got one down for them then one of the ladies like grabbed my hair she's like oh you've you've got gray hair it's beautiful I love it and I was kind of like yeah it's not really gray it's kind of silver you know she was being sweet but yes it is fairly cool toned most of it I have the weirdest thing actually I want to show you guys so if any of you are hairdressers or like have had this before tell me I have these pieces here that is just copper they're like orangey weird toned it's the most bizarre thing and it's in the same spot like right at the nape of my neck it's so bizarre and my hairdresser thought it might be from my fake tan so I stopped like going up into sort of my hairline but then I was like but it goes all the way like it goes like half the length of my hair so it makes no sense so if any of you have that or am I just like growing copper hair because 
The rest of my hair is very cool tone, even the natural colour. Far out, I am rambling, I'm so sorry. So a brand called AMR Hair Beauty reached out to me, asked me if they could send me some Fanola hair products and I was kind of like, I have never heard of them in my life. But I looked them up and the results were pretty good so I definitely said yes and I gave it a go. I posted a before and after on my Instagram which was like insane. I could not believe the difference. So I've been using the Vanilla No Yellow Shampoo as well as the No Orange Shampoo and the masks. So they come yeah as a shampoo and then they come as like a hair mask the only thing I have found is the masks aren't like conditioning masks. They're more like color correcting. They don't condition your hair. So I do put a little bit of conditioner in afterwards because it just feels too dry. And I didn't get the no orange out of my shower because I didn't want to haul all of these hair products out of my shower and then put them all back because I'm that lazy. But yes, sometimes I'll just use the no yellow, sometimes I'll just use the no orange, sometimes I'll mix them together. It just depends whatever mood I'm in. But yeah, it's just purple shampoo, the no yellow. The no orange has more of a blue tinge to it than a violet. They still, they both work so well. Whenever I wash my hair, which is like two, sometimes three times a week, I always double condi double shampoo because, you know, when I leave it that long, there's more buildup of product in my hair and on my scalp. So I always start out with this one, which, oh my, can you believe the size of this bottle that they sent me? It is... A thousand milliliters, which I think is a liter. I'm not good at maths. And it is the Nutri Care Shampoo, Restructuring Shampoo. And I do have the conditioner of this as well. The reason I love this so much is because it smells like vanilla caramel. Like, oh my god, it smells so good. I, when my mum was here a few days ago, I was literally like, smell this shampoo. Smell it. I mean, it's a pretty standard shampoo and conditioner, but it does make my hair feel good it makes it feel like it's not too dried out from all of the purple and orangey products that I'm using so even if you just have dark hair and you want a nice new shampoo and conditioner get this one because the smell is amazing unless you hate sweet smells but the very last thing is the Fanola Nutri Care Best Serum and this smells like watermelony melon so if you guys have been following me for a while you'll know i love hair oils when my hair is curled or even when it's straight like this hair it needs a wash now um but it kind of looks ratty at the end so i'll just take a couple of pumps of this in my hand and then literally just take it through all of the ends and it leaves them like i did it just before filming this video so they look shiny smells good nourishes your hair and smells amazing. TV shows. I quit my job at the very end of April. I fell into a very, very, very bad depression as a lot of you guys know. So I started watching The Vampire Diaries. I had never seen it, ne like never been interested in it. I was kind of like, oh vampires, you know, it's just going to be another twilight and it's going to be shit. But I got addicted really, really, really fast. It was so good. And I'm sure everybody watching this has probably seen it by now. I made my best friend watch it. She loved it. I was so late to the party. So late. I wanted to re-watch it, but there's just so much that happens. And I just, I can't commit myself right now. I cannot commit to it. But I do love it. I love Damon. I think him and Elena were meant to be from the very beginning. At the start, I thought it was all Stefan. I thought he was like the hunky spunk. I thought Damon was weird looking. No, 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 no. I was so wrong, so wrong. So I was loving that. I was devastated when it finished. I bawled my eyes out at the like finale. Oh my god, I bawled so hard. And then the other TV show that I have watched is Heartland. And obviously a lot of people watch it because they're up to making like season 12. That's a lot of seasons for a TV show. The first few seasons were a bit uh, 
I um, was actually talking to one of my boyfriend's workmates who loves McLeod's Daughters as well, which if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know I love McLeod's Daughters. It's all about far being on a farm, being on horses, like, oh, it's just everything I want my life to be, except minus minus the breeding of cows and sending them off to slaughter because I ain't about that life. I'm about eating vegetables. And I think that's why I liked Heartland a little bit more because it's basically about a young girl, she's only like 16, and her mum passes away. Um, I'm not giving this away because it happens in the first episode, like you, you see it straight up and then she and her grandfather and her elder sister who comes back from the city are kind of left to manage this horse ranch that her mum had built her mum had like a special gift with horses and turns out that the young girl Amy she has it too so the whole show it revolves around like troubled horses coming and them rescuing horses and training them and you know working out what the problem is I just honestly I just got goosebumps talking about that how weird I'm weird but honestly I think if I could pick any job in the entire world it would be what this girl does on this show I think that's why I love it so much like the first few seasons are kind of not so great because she's kind of finding her footing and, you know, this new boy comes in and are they together, are they not, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, it's kind of, you got to stick, stick it through, but it gets so good. And, yeah, I just get, I get, like, emotional because that's all I want is to have my own farm and to be able to have horses and help animals, rescue animals, like that's what I want more than anything in this world. Wow, so much. I talk forever about TV shows, you guys probably have noticed. Okay, so the last TV show I'm going to mention, which is on Netflix, is The People vs. O.J. Simpson. First of all, I love Sarah Paulson. She is amazing. I have watched her since she has been in American Horror Story the whole time. She does an amazing job and so does Cuba. I forget his last name, but he plays OJ really well. I'm about to watch the very last episode of the miniseries. My opinion is he totally did it. He showed no like empathy or he had no feelings. It was just like, yeah, I got off. Yeah, let's party, yeah, let's... I mean, no one knows besides the person who did it, but in my opinion, in my personal criminology, watching documentaries at home every day opinion, he did it. But it is a really good miniseries anyway, just to watch. It's frustrating because the whole trial is just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't even imagine being someone in, like, that area at that time would have been intense. And then quickly a show that I do not like, Black Mirror. I have heard people go on about this and say how good it is. I watched the first three episodes. None of the episodes are like, I don't know what the word is, concurrent. Like each episode is a completely different storyline, completely different actors and everything. And I just could not get into it. It made me feel weird, it just like the acting. I think was terrible. I just, I was not into it. So let me know down below if you like that show or you hate it. Because most people I know like it. I asked my sister though and she was the same as me. She was like, no, I hate it. I hate it. But anyway, my battery is about to die. So I'm going to wrap this shiz up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you made it to the end, good job. I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Shit. I really hope my eye under eyes don't look as bad on camera as I'm thinking they do. Cristali li it's an Italian it Italian.